Oh, so I wanted to talk briefly about the law of projection and how it's used against black women. So the law of projection is a spiritual law that basically says that what we see in other people is a reflection of something that's in us. So everything that we see out of ourselves in some way is a projection, right? And I think that that's what's happening when it comes to black women on social media. We are made the scapegoat for so many things. You know, there are people who say that um, the black community is, for people who believe that the black community exists, right? But they say that in black society, um, there are so many problems and failures because of black women. You know, they say certain things about the state of black relationships and... um, you know, black households, and they blame that on black women. And the reality is that, in some ways, the people who are saying that are projecting certain things that they feel about themselves onto black women, right? Because you notice, even when black women are removed from the equation in situations where the people saying this they go on and they have relationships and children with non-black women, you'll notice that the dysfunction follows a lot of those people wherever they go. So no matter who they have children with or who they have relationships with, right, the relationships fail and the children essentially end up being fatherless. So you see that when we're removed from the equation, the problem is still there. Meaning that a lot of the negativity that's heaped in our direction is a projection. You know, it's a projection of the inadequacies and failures that some people see within themselves. Even, you know, when I think about it in my personal life, there are certain situations, you know, because I am a very brown or dark-skinned black woman with Afrocentric features, right? There are certain situations that I walk into and people automatically will have negative assumptions. Even in the work environment. And it didn't really help because even though I'm not an aggressive person, I'm very outspoken. So it was very easy for people to project their, um, their workplace conflicts onto me. You know, well, these two people don't get along. And they would say it was me and this other person who didn't get along. And it was easy for people to project that onto me because I was so outspoken. When I learned to be quiet and not to be so outspoken, I looked around and I realized, oh, the issue is that I had other co-workers who didn't like a particular person. And when I removed myself from the equation by not being so outspoken and by not always being so transparent about how I thought about certain things, I realized, oh, this person is really the one that's in conflict with this other coworker of mine. And now that I've stepped aside and I've taken myself out of the equation, it's it's no longer easy to project all of the negativity and all of the problems onto me. And I think that that's how some black women also feel about just stepping away from all or some of what's going on in black society because we're all of the negativity is projected onto us because there are other people within the society who feel inadequate and who know that in certain ways they've come up short. And if we remove ourselves from the equation, it'll no longer be easy to project the failures onto us. It will put those people in a situation where they have to accept responsibility for their actions and for the role that they have played in certain situations.